All right, what's going on, y'all WMMA fans? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another video. All right, y'all. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it once again. The champ is back. The break is over. Break is over. And I know everybody's saying, oh, you know, Valentina don't take breaks. Hey, everybody deserves a break. Everybody's human out there. You know, some, you know, when a fighter like Valentina takes a break, believe me, it's a much earned break. But at the same time, you know, she's still living, breathing, thinking, eating, sleeping, the fight game, right? You know, all the while she's just kind of resting up her body like it's supposed to. But, you know, that mindset is still the same. You know, she's not ready to hang it up. So she's listening and she's watching every every move in her flyweight division right now. So when you see her putting in this work right now, she's making sure that she's sharp. No opponents have been been announced yet, but you know that she's getting ready because a one Tyler Santos has been calling her out and the UFC. They might be watching it. They might be watching and saying, you know what, with everybody else not showing any interest in taking on Valentina Shevchenko, this may be the fight to make. You know, we got to get her back in there soon. The last time she fought was back in June. So if she wants to come back in 2023, we don't want to keep her away from the cage for over a year or a year. So the next best thing probably would be Tyler Santos, right? And you know, this is another video, but I got to say shout out to Tyler Santos, man, because this is what you're supposed to do, you know? And that's why I'm saying when I talk about what Tyler Santos is doing, you know, right away, the, the simps out there and the fanboys, they get it mixed up and think, oh, okay, like Tyler Santos is talking out her realm and she really believes Valentina's scared. Do you really think Tyler Santos believes Valentina's scared? No, not at all. Like, this is a part of the business. You got to talk yourself into a rematch and you got to talk that champion back into the cage, right? That's how you get them back into the, that's how you get them, get them into the cage, especially if they're not asking for the rematch themselves, right? You got to keep on egging them on and say, hey, come out and play. Hey, you keep throwing eggs at the window. Come on outside. Right. That's what you got to do. So there's 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 no part of me that believes that Tyler Santos is thinking that Valentina Shevchenko is running from, her. you know, she's just trying to get her back into the cage by by using fighting words. That's what it is. Right. But with that being said, Valentina probably heard that call and she said, you know what? Hey, let's get it. We're going to work on this game. We're going to work on this takedown defense. And y'all see what she's doing right now. She's polishing up that striking. Well, we know the level of striking of Valentina, but she's, she's going to show, hey, look, ain't nobody scared. This is what I possess, and this is how I put my work in, right? And that's why I like That's why I like these training videos. And I like posting this type of stuff up. You know, some people think, oh, okay, the training videos don't tell the story. But, hey, when you see Valentina training this hard and putting that in that work, this tells the story. This tells the story. And actually it does, you know. Most training videos that fighters put up, it will tell the story, especially when you see how consistent they are with it, because they're showing you, OK, this is what we focus on. This is the fight game. You know, we're not out here to post thirst traps and and, and whatever like that. You know, we we're trying to, you know, show you, look, we're in here training and this is our work ethic. Right. So somebody like Valentina, when you see her posting up, it's about to get real here in a minute. I don't know who the opponent is. Like I said, it could be Tyler Santos, could be Alexa Grasso at this point. We don't know. But, you know, whoever, whoever it is, they better make sure they're ready. Because I think this time around, you know, Valentina Shevchenko, you know, she's going to make sure she's prepared for whatever Tyler Santos is going to bring to the table. Um, will it be an easy fight? I don't know. But we all know Valentina, you know, she learns from her mistakes in, in every fight. You know what I mean? The only one fight I could say where she never took on a full on different approach was the Amanda Nunes rematch. Because that shows you what level of Amanda's on, right? But, uh, yeah, just looking here, Valentina, you know, definitely working on the takedown defense, you know, her grappling a little bit, um, her striking, because um, she knows that going into a rematch with Tyler Santos, you know, her striking is definitely going to be key, and she cannot play that wrestle game and that grappling game with Tyler Santos again, you know, if she wants to get a clear-cut victory, right? So, yeah, man, break is over. You see Valentina back into it. Uh, Who is it going to be, guys? Let me know in the comments section. But, you know... Um, like I said, I might do another video on this one because I, I respect when, you know, a fighter like Valentina, you know, they can step away and just say, you know, it's time to, you know, take a little break and, you know, and just, you know, kind of rest their mind mental, you know, rest their rest their mind and rest their body, uh, you know, take the mental and physical vacation off, you know, because when you come back, you come back refreshed and you kind of want to pick up where you left off and with a with an even bigger hunger. And I think sometimes I think for Valentina, she wants to kind of wait because she wants to make sure she has a credible opponent in there. You know, sometimes I think 
fighting them back to back to back and even if they're not ready it can kind of get a little you know repetitive you know it's kind of monotonous so I don't know you know how, how do y'all think Valentina feels about this like do you think she would she doesn't mind waiting like a year or like six or seven months until she has somebody that's you know really really ready for her? like at this point I mean there's a point where they were coming back to back you know from I to Carmooch to Caitlin Chikeg and everybody was fighting into that position but when you beat like the one through six like there's going to be a downtime right so that's what I always kind of wondered about Valentina too. Like, did she know that downtime was coming? I know she likes to stay active, but you know, is that just active against anybody, or did she want act? Did she want to be active against real tests, right? So I don't know. Uh, but other than that, it's looking like Tyler's that real test for her still, even at this point, because she's the only one screaming for that um, for that fight. But yeah, guys, that's all I got on this. And just wanted to stop through and talk about um, some different things about Valentina Shevchenko. Going to start doing more videos, of course, talking. Uh, about some different things shout out to one of my subscribers jesse goodman said he wanted to hear me do more videos you know just talking about the mentality of fighters and some other things i guess other than fight news which you know i got lined up got all kinds of stuff like that so yeah man make sure y'all subscribe i'm out peace